Hello enjoyers and Merry Christmas! Today we are going to discuss and also I am going to explain modern tool of Unreal Engine 5 and overall modeling in the Unreal Engine 5. But first of all I want to show you this house. This house I have created with a architecture and 3D modeler and currently it is available in the Unreal Marketplace. You can buy it by $30 of US. Uh, actually it's Christmas now and if you are watching this video at uh, 25 of December until uh, 30 of December, then you can uh, share comment under this video, then email me and I will give you this asset for only $15. Let's back to the video, actually I created this asset using that modern tool as well. So I'm going to share you my thoughts, my explanation and how you can use actually that modern tool. First of all, it is not a basic tool, it is plugin. So in the plugins you can type here model. By default it is switched on, so you already have this modern tool. But uh, it's useful to know that it is just a plugin, it is not a basic tool. So what you need, you need to click on selection mode and go to the modeling. And you must know that modeling in the Unreal Engine is not very great. This is just uh, assistance I would say. You can create some stuff, it is not impossible, but definitely Unreal Engine is not 3D modeling software. So let's start from the creating. Creating allows you to use different shapes, box, sphere, cylinder, torus and so on. You can draw splines, you can even extrude from the 2D polygons, like in the 3D software. So you can create some shapes and then edit them. Then you have this X form. X form demands you to firstly pick some object. For example, let's click on this wall. Okay, this is wall. And what I can do, I can change transform. It is not something uh, very interesting because you can change transform as well in the details here. But also you can do, for example, alignment changes. Uh, it allows you to align some objects which with each other. Also you can merge. This is very useful thing. You can click on two objects, for example I click on this both. I can align them together and then I can merge them into one new object. And it is very useful when you get something like a uh, house or for example you create some castle or something else and you need one mesh castle, one mesh house for example and you don't want to uh, edit something by elements. For example, I want to move this house, it is completely ready for me. I can just merge everything and then move it using only uh, transform only once. Then uh, you can duplicate object, it is not something new, you can just create another object, you can do it using uh, content browser and control D on the object, it is not something very unique. Then you have edit pivot, also very useful thing, you can change pivot of the object. For example, currently it is a bottom uh, and centered bottom. So I can click on edit pivot and I can move it for example here. And then it will rotate using this axis, which can be useful for example for doors. For example, you imported some doors, they are centered, but you need actually at this point your uh, uh, pivot point. So you can change it and uh, use it for your doors. For example, let me show you on the door. You can see on the door it is here. Yeah. Then you have this bake transform. It is uh, useful if you want to change rotation. For example, I can click this object. Let's duplicate this, for example. You can change rotation and you can change scale, for example, like uh, this. And then you can bake transform and it will become his default for it will become 111 and rotation will become 000. So you can create asset with uh, that transform. Uh, transfer you can copy, you can see, copy the first selected mesh to the second selected mesh. So I don't use this. And convert, you can diff convert mesh into different type of meshes. Uh, I also don't think this is very useful, unless you're doing some specific operations. Split allows you to separate meshes, but uh, actually I used another type of uh, splitting 
because this one is not that uh, convenient. Uh, pattern, you can create pattern formations and then uh, use them as a brush, for example. You can use some pattern, for example, these together always, and you can create this pattern and then move and create different, the same type of patterns. And ISM, you can change instances of static mesh on the level without changing your actual meshes here. Yeah. I will say, if you are not advanced uh, 3D modeler, you need here on the Edit Pilot, Merge, Align and Bake Transform. All this stuff is not for, um, you know, basic uh, users. Then we have Deform. I don't recommend use Deform here. If you want to deform something, if you want to sculpt something or make some things smoother, warp displays, this stuff, go to the 3D software because here you have too little uh, control. And uh, this is why I don't recommend use deform. But if you want, you can display something, create tessellation, warp objects, for example, deform them, twist them. You can smooth them if they are too sharp. For example, some stone with, you know, the sharpie uh, shapes. But overall, if you want to use this, use it in the 3D software. You can use Blender if you don't have money for 3D software because Blender is free. So I highly suggest you go and use 3D model uh, modern software instead of using Unreal Engine for these type of actions. Then you have this model. Here you can edit polygroup, don't touch this. Also go to the 3D modeling software if you need, uh, edit mesh polygroups, subdivide also using the 3D software. Boolean uh, actually does the same thing as merge, but uh, sometimes it, it works better. You need to uh, sometimes check it out. Boolean also creates a lot of artifacts if you try to match things that are not uh, compatible. So be careful using Boolean. But it, it is also like merge. And if you are 3D modeler, you know what, what Boolean is. And Polycut allows you to cut uh, meshes uh, and extrude some polygons. Um, plain Cut allows you to... Uh, you, for example, you can see this is my uh, plane and I can cut object and create this half of wall for example or I can even keep both and then I just split them by two. I used this a few times. It is useful sometimes. For example you need to split one wall. For example this wall you need to split it by two or this wall you need to split it. Then you can use this plane cut, rotate it by 90 degree and split it as you need for example like this. All right, next one you can use mirror and mirror select mesh. It is sometimes useful, but I don't think this is very useful. But maybe if you need mirror your object, horizontal or vertical, you can use this mirror. Mesh cut allows you to cut one mesh using second mesh. So, for example, you can use this mesh and uh, cube and create window point. I didn't use this during creation of this asset, but you can actually because I used uh, 3D software for this part. And trim, you can do the same stuff almost. Then uh, in the mesh, uh, triangle edit, tree select. Uh, this, this is a lot of stuff that you can do with your mesh. I'm going to show you some thoughts. You can use simplify sometimes. If you need to simplify your mesh, create more optimized type of your mesh. For example, you have uh, 1 million uh, polygons or triangles and it is not optimized, it is very heavy, you can simplify it when you see uh, shapes of your object is too simple. For example, this is a box actually, if this uh, would have something around 100,000 polygons, then it is, uh, yeah, it is welcome to just simplify that object. But be careful because simplifying, remeshing, jacketing, wield, few holes, this all stuff can break your object, can make it look weird, create some artifacts, bugs, so be careful. If you want to do some of these operations, also it is better to go and use 3D software, because here it is very limited. But you can do some stuff, for example, you can change target triangles, you can smooth it, you can uh, change your smooth rate to be sure that smooth is not that strong. You can see currently this is 5,000 triangles. It is too much. You can actually use, for example, 100 
and now it is more optimized. But you can actually break your uh, objects if it is not just box. For example, let's go to the one of my favorite, the stairs. If you try to simplify this, you will get a lot of uh, weird stuff. For example, let me show you geometry of this object. Mm -hmm. And now let me remesh it. Now you can see these polygons and let me show you what happens if you try to make this 100. You can see it will deform somewhere in the edges. Currently you can see it, but if, you, if I click and accept, it will deform and it becomes completely useless. So be careful with this stuff. Also in the simplifying you can also click here and change target percentage of triangles. For example, this is currently very heavy object because this is uh, not a standard shape and you can change uh, target uh, percentage of uh, triangles. This is also for optimization, but you can also break your object. So be careful with this and I highly suggest to go in the 3D modern software for this stuff. Voxel uh, works with voxelized uh, objects. I don't work with this, so I can tell you uh, everything, but actually this is wrap, offset, merge, blend and boolean, which is the same as for modeling. So nothing new, just with voxel objects. Bake. I don't even know why you need this in the Unreal Engine 5, because you can actually avoid baking vertices, but you can bake textures sometimes for creating new type of texture, and when you finalize it all. Uh, but if you want it, you can do it here, but also you can do it in the Unreal Engine 5 without this modeling tool. So I don't know actually why you need this here. Then we have this UVs. This is a very useful tool. For example, you can change UV of your object, you can auto UV. I don't recommend using this unless you have some artifacts and it can sometimes solve it. And if not, use just project UVs. You can change, for example, UV map of your uh, object, you can change sizes. For your texture and you can uh, for example pick all your objects and create the same uv projection uh, sizes and then a uh, tiling will be the same for every object you used it is useful for example you create different type of modular floors for example this floor and then you have this floor for example or something like this and this and you want the same tiling for all of these objects then you can use project uv and change it to the same numbers also you can use plane box projection or cylinder depending on the shape of your object you can transform uv space uh, i don't recommend work here with uvs too much for example if you need uv editor unwrapping editing seams or something like this or paint a new poly groups also go to the 3d modern software because there you have a lot of control and there you can do much more interesting stuff instead of just adjusting and if you need just small adjustments or tweaking some numbers, then you can use this. Then we have these attributes. You can inspect object, uh, you can work with load uh, of static mesh. Also, if you need to create different type of loads, uh, go to the 3D modern software and create different loads. It is not that hard in the 3D modern software. And here, it, sometimes it is not that easy to do. Uh, then we have this uh, normals, tangents, uh, generation, new polygroups, which is not useful at all. You, if you need to create new polygroups, also it is better to create uh, them uh, using uh, professional tools. The only thing that I find here very useful is, not only actually, this, there's three. First one, is edit material, you can actually assign material to your objects and you can create new material slots for object. For example, you have this wall. Let me show you these walls. And you can see this wall here has this uh, yellowish uh, plaster and here it is white plaster. And this is different material, but on the same, this is the same model, this is the same 3D mesh. So I just painted material and created another slot for this uh, material. And you can do the same, for example, for your character, for your not character, uh, unless it is a static mesh. You can do it with different type of objects. For example, this object also, and so on. If you are, uh, if you imported uh, some object and you get this problem, for example, it is just one material, and you can you want some, add some other stuff, you can use it. 
then let's go to the next one is mesh a simple collision and collision to a new mesh object this allows you to create collisions for your meshes and create special collision uh, outside of your mesh and then use it for something else for example you need you need this stair to have a collision and you can't manually do this you can use this collision tool uh, this one mesh to collision and create collision for this stuff and you can edit it a little bit and create what you need actually i used exactly this for our uh, stair here and you have this misc you can auto load and create pivot actor uh, here you have this also convert mesh to volume and you can change a brush uh, to a new mesh object I don't use this too much uh, but maybe if you work with uh, volumes maybe it is useful overall I would say if you are not a 3d modeler and you just need this for your basic uh, needs then you need this uh, painting edit material this one painting material for your uh, object you need here also collision if you have some issues with collision of your object and your object is not a just box it is something you know very um, specific like stair uh, has a very specific shape or maybe you just need collision and you don't know how to do that uh, uvs project uv you can adjust your uvs but don't use it for creating uv if you don't have uv map correct uh, then go to the software and create it then mesh uh, remeshing sometimes helps simplifying sometimes helps but be careful if it is a very uh, specific shape also avoid this because it will destroy your shape uh, in the model you need plain cuts sometimes to just split something by two halves then you have uh, x form here edit pivot bake transform and uh, merge sometimes align this is it this is the most useful thing that you can use in the unreal engine without uh, knowing modeling if you are the 3d modeler and you know quite a good your uh, job uh, i would suggest you use uh, 3d modeling software instead of unreal engine because here you have a little bit less control than in the 3d modeling software this is not a, uh, that type of software sometimes you can create some shapes you can even uh, create different shapes and merge them into one so maybe sometimes for hyper casual game or maybe you need some something very simple you can create object edit it using this old stuff but overall i will say this is not a completely fine uh, 3d modeling software this is kind of i would say average and it works if you are not trying to use this as a 3d modeling software but you will try to use this for some adjustments for existing models and that's it i hope you enjoyed if so hit the like button share comments subscribe the channel don't forget share comments if you want this asset for 15 dollars it works until 30 of december let me show you what you can get there is a bedroom three bedrooms you have the shelves everything you can see here is included so this chairs material for everything tv all this furniture also included yeah and this is the object you can see also renders here you can also use this for architecture visualization if you want it is also possible and you can use it in the game you can actually use this map and remove this landscape and use your landscape also you can change this environment this is just preview environment with a pool this is an example you can also change it so don't forget to share comments if you want this and see you in the next year merry christmas